Hey, my name's Jenny and my husband's name is Bill Pryor. Um, we have three kids, uh, Bill who is six, Lily who's four, and Jessica who's one. Um, Bill and Lily suffer from a disorder called LCA, which is an eye disorder caused by the gene mutation, um, which causes progressive vision loss. Uh, there are, are many different genes that can cause LCA, but the particular one that's affecting Bill and Lily is called the RDH12 gene. I know it sounds like a lot of confusing lingo, LCA and RDH12, but, um, but my point is that my kids are suffering from a disorder that currently has no cure. Um, my son Bill was diagnosed when he was about three years old. Um, we noticed that he had a circular movement in his left eye and we weren't sure why, so we took him to the pediatrician um, who immediately referred us to the pediatric ophthalmologist who then referred us to the Duke Eye Center and after several tests were completed, uh, Bill was diagnosed with LCA RDH12 version. Um, we were told that this is a genetic disorder, so we decided to take Lily, our daughter, um, as well to be tested um, when she was two, and she was also diagnosed with LCA. And uh, genetic testing further confirmed the diagnosis for both children. Um, Bill and Lily might be teenagers before they lose their vision completely, but we can see the effects of the disorder even now. Um, both have a really hard time in dimly lit rooms and at night, and um, also on really bright days because the disorder affects their photoreceptor cells, so they have a lot of trouble with light perception. Um, they also both struggle with their peripheral vision, so they both tend to trip over objects in the floor um, quite often. And uh, more and more I've noticed that um, they don't look me in the eye when they speak to me anymore, um, which makes me think they're struggling to focus on my face at times. Uh, Lily, uh, furthermore, seems to be very unsure of herself in unfamiliar places and, and tends to cling to my side. Um, throughout the whole process, you know, we've dealt with a lot of different emotions. I mean, at first we felt the devastation. Um, you know, it was tremendous. Uh, every parent has ideas and visions of how their child's going to grow up and play sports and participate in other activities. And, you know, all of a sudden your visions and dreams um, come crashing down. Uh, even now, when I watch my kids play around the house or outside, I can't help but think that in a few short years, they might not even be able to see it all. Um, it's hard to watch them struggle in, in certain situations currently. Um, they may never get to enjoy playing sports in high school like I did or get to go see a movie with their friends or uh, do, do many of the things in the same way that most teenagers do. You know, a lot of people, activities a lot of people might take for granted. This disorder will affect their entire life. You know, there's two different approaches that we can take at this point. You know, we can either let the hurt, the pain, and the turmoil of the situation rule our lives, or we can get up and we can do something about it. Um, and of course, we chose determination, you know, to find out as much as possible about the disorder and determination to do everything we possibly could to help our kids lead a normal life. Um, we're going to take the cards that we've been dealt and take the necessary steps to find a cure. Um, we have high hopes that through research, a cure can be found. All that we need to do now is raise the money. Um, Dr. Jean Bennett is a, is a leading researcher in gene therapy for, um, for LCA, and um, she actually created one therapy that restored um, a boy's vision. Um, he has a different type of LCA. It's called RP65. Um, but we were able to meet Dr. Bennett at a conference this summer, and she agreed to perform the necessary research for RDH12 LCA. And, um, and as I mentioned before, all that's in the way now are the funds to get the research off the ground. Um, this is incredible, and we're so grateful for her willingness to work on finding a cure for Bill and Lily and, and other people affected by RDH12 LCA. I know it sounds too good to be true, but in this case, it really isn't. Um, this is a real possibility, um, and we're very excited about it. Uh, all that we want is for our kids to be able to keep their sight. And uh, if a cure is not discovered in time to help my kids, then, then our hope is that it will help others affected by RDH12 LCA as well. Um, we're very thankful that you chose us as beneficiaries of, of your telephone.